a world where the super rich... You're probably looking at about a quarter of a million. ...cash in their luxury assets. When I saw the size of his chopper, <laughs> I couldn't believe how big it was. Prestige pawnbrokers have made a name for themselves. We'll lend against almost anything of value, including fine wine, art, antiques, jewellery, watches, almost anything. Almost anything. With two stores in affluent Surrey. That's impressive. And headquarters in London's famed jewellery district. I've heard about you, so it's the main reason I'm here. Big money deals are done daily. 1.2 million. That's holy macaroni! This time... <laughs> wheeling and dealing... I've got someone that will buy it off me for four and a quarter. Personally, I don't see it. Handbags at dawn... I am happy to make you an offer. No cruelty. No? No way. Oh, give me a break, please. <laughs> and can boss James... Wow. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah. ..turn around a big money loan in super quick time. What's he looking for? He's talking about 100k. Welcome to the world... <laughs> ..of posh porn. The UK pawnbroking industry gives over two million loans a year. We've got branches in London, Hatton Garden, uh, Weybridge and Richmond. As people look to raise quick cash from valuable items. I need a price on these rings, please. OK. We can offer you £15,000. What? For former property developer James Constantino, it's high-end all the way. Have you ever had a derailment? No, touch wood. <laughs> I targeted the well-off for my pawnbroking business because it was a niche market and there wasn't anyone else out there doing that. <laughs> <laughs> At their headquarters in the heart of London's jewellery district... Oh, you don't have to come in or anything like that. It's the start of a new week for Boss James and his PA, Joe. He looks like he's being sarcastic. She wants to pretend that she's in charge just for ten minutes and... She's not actually on the phone to anyone. She just makes her feel a little bit important. And then she goes... <laughs> Sorry, Tony, I can hear him. He's saying that I wanted to sit here, like when you're a kid and you want to be in the driver's seat, and that I'm not actually on the phone to anyone. And that I'd like to pretend She I'm takes it to the absolute limit by acting out that, pretending <laughs> there's someone on the phone. <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation. Oh, of course you are, yeah. <laughs> Britain, nearly 60% of the pawnbroking industry's customers are female. Hello there. I have a cuff that I would like to sell. And second-hand designer bags have become big business for James and his team. I think it was 1,100, something like that. The task of assessing and valuing up to 100 bags a week falls to designer handbag expert Claudia. That's nice. I've got the same with the silver chain. I've received um, an email from a customer and uh, she's got a large selection of designer handbags that she'd like to sell. She's even got a Chanel classic bag and it's, uh, it's got all, all diagrams of ice creams on it. It looks real fun and it's pretty different for a Chanel. I think we've got 15 plus of them. They're gorgeous. I can't wait to see them. I love colours, as you can see. I'm, I'm really into hot pink. In Brighton is 77-year-old retiree Annabelle. Fashion today, some people just don't get it. Sometimes I look at some of these girls and I think, what has she got on? Can she not see it? I laugh, and I shouldn't be so critical, but you can't help it. Annabelle left school at 14 after suffering with dyslexia and fought her way up in the fashion industry. I just thought I was as thick as two planks, but I knew I wasn't as thick as two planks, so I didn't care what people thought. I started ironing skirts, which I don't think most of us would have liked. I thought I'd be on the sales floor. But, like, you have to learn from the bottom, and I really did. This is fun, isn't it? I can't see a thing. She eventually climbed high up the sales ladder in London and America, where she indulged her passion for accessories. This particular shoe I just love. 
I, I, I just think it's the sexiest shoe ever. And I could dance in them, I could get drunk in them. The music that was around in those days, it was great music to dance to. You just moved. <laughs> I don't know, you had to put the music on. I went mad, you used to go mad. We looked good on the floor, everybody looked good. Even if you couldn't dance, you looked good. I used to go to Tramp, to the Saddle Club. It was amazing. I definitely ride in Bog about the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, all oh, what we got up to. Oh, your hair would stand on edge. In her time in the fashion world, Annabelle accumulated a large collection of designer handbags. This one, I think, is so cute. I love it. I think it's a one-off. I've never seen another one. I do get a lot of remarks on it because it's so unusual. I mean, it's beautiful. Right, this one, I saw Princess Diana with it, and I just loved it. So I was in New York, and I just thought, you've got to have it, Annabelle. That's all there is to it. Otherwise, you'll go back to London feeling very upset about it. Sadly, for the last 10 years, Annabelle has suffered from arthritis and now wants to sell 19 bags. What am I going to do with them? I'm not going to get buried with them. I might as well sell them. I know I don't want a stupid price, but it's best to keep it to myself. After selling these handbags, I'm only going to buy one more handbag that goes across my shoulder because that's the only way I can wear a handbag. That's it, the finish of it. Annabelle wants to bid farewell to her bags, but will Claudia be able to offer the price she secretly wants? Oh, it's so cute. James and his team will consider loaning on anything that will turn a profit. It's a 600-year-old Bible. Good grief. But there is one kind of item they see more than any other. Fantastic, it's a lovely piece. I do get excited when I see exquisite pieces of jewellery come through the door, but you've got to be really careful about the second-hand value of those pieces. It's yellow, it's a weird colour though, yellowy, greeny. Isn't it lovely? It's mm. massive. Today, James has spotted a gem of an email from a couple of regular clients. Joe, have a look at this. You know Steve and Johnny that come in? Yeah. Well, look, they've got a client who wants to raise between oh, 100 and wow. 150 grand. Oh, my God. Sapphire and diamond necklace. Looks stunning, doesn't that it? That is beautiful. Yeah. 112 carat sapphire and diamond necklace. 112 carats. Wow. That's a lot. So they're probably a good, a good size. Mm. Now, that's really exciting. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, can't wait to get it in. I might even let you have a little look at it. Don't touch it, yeah? I won't touch it. I'll don't have a look. Until your hands. What else would I touch it with? You just don't touch I'm it. I'm not going to touch it no. anyway, but if just, I was... I just want to get that straight. But if I was going to touch it, what else would I use? Got to go. <laughs> we see a lot of jewellery, and in particular necklaces, and I love them for the business because they can be a big ticket item for us. I thought I had more silver than that. I've got no bloody room. The necklace is being handled by businessmen Steve and Johnny, who are acting as brokers for a client. We're antique dealers, trade buyers. Correct. We argue constantly. How am I not right? You're not right. How am I not right? Because you're not right. Shut the shop! <laughs> how am I not right? You're not right. That's well, not explain hard to, to me how I'm not right. right. Just get on with it. We work really well together, but um, I drive him nuts most of the time. You do? It drives me nuts. <laughs> Healthy arguments, though. Healthy, constructive. Well, not it's that constructive, word. just healthy. We deal in anything from an item like this, which is silver, from five pounds, up to high-end stuff as well. 380, go on. You bought yourself a watch. Keep it in your hand and just pay me. People will give us stock, and especially when we're doing fairs, then they're happy for us to take their stock to a fair and then we're set on their behalf. But this is our bread and butter. We like what we're doing, we love it. When they're not at antique fairs, they hit Hatton Garden. Yeah. As we walk through the magic of Hatton Garden, that's our office. There's a lot of people around here and uh, keep networking, keep meeting new people, keep trying to sort out you know, new connections to expand our horizons. So that's what a flawless stone looks like, see? 
Usually we do Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in Hatton Gardens and Thursday we do, do a market. Yeah. Always trying just to do the next deal, really, haven't we, John? Yeah. To bag the next deal. But today they need James's help to raise a big money loan quickly. Yeah, we've got a client who's doing a property development and the banks are dragging their feet. He needs 100k, like pronto. When it comes to the retail value of that, you could easily see that in a window for 250, 300, 300,000 pounds, yeah. you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of goods. But the fact that he wants to pawn it, we were the first, we'd go to James immediately. He's the only guy that we know in that line. Mm. We get a quick decision with James yeah. and that's what we need. He's the cash man, isn't he? Will James be willing to give them the £100,000 loan their client needs in just a few days? Yeah, they're good stones, John. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> when you're running a pawn shop for the elite, meticulous research is key. When these big ticket items come through the door, it's essential that we carry out the appraisal process correctly, otherwise it could potentially be devastating. Boss James is known for his thorough approach when appraising anything with an engine. You just don't get bored of it, do you? Not help me, can you? <laughs> it's <like a> disease. <laughs> Headquarters, James has received an inquiry which is right up his street. An old scooter's come in 1962 Lambretta. I know quite a lot about these because I used to collect them when I was a bit younger. They can be worth a few grand if they're done up nicely, and this one looks in uh, relatively good condition. Apparently, he needs the money quite urgently, so he wants to bring the bike in, and uh, we're going to try and get the deal done pretty quick for him. Take down, everybody's a Lambretta fan. Better than a Vespa, aren't they? 49 year old demolition contractor David, who lives in Surrey, is the proud owner of the vintage scooter. It was one of the first of the three series to come out. And it's 53 years old this August. For me, the Lambretta stands out for the 60s, the modern movement, great music, and happy times. It's all about having fun. It's a dream to drive, I love riding it, it's reliable. All the birds look at you, don't tell me old woman, <laughs> but I just love it. David bought his Lambretta three years ago. I was going to get my fiance a car from my mate's showroom and I saw this in the corner of the shed and I came home on this. My fiance wasn't too happy at the time, but she's come round to it. Unfortunately, David has been out of work recently due to ill health, so needs to borrow money. Shabby, Dave, you right, boy? What's happening here, then? Got a pawn it, mate. It's your pride and joy, isn't it? I oh, know. I can't never see you on a bus with your bus pass. Oh, can I? That's why it's a short-term loan. Sorry to hear that, actually. That's all right. Right, take Trusting care, Dave. Mate. Yeah, be good. Till I, mate. Tell him, mate. I want a short-term loan. I definitely don't ever want to sell it. So, James sees the best way out, and I'll get the return of my scooter. She's going on a short break. It's like putting a dog in the kennels when you go on holiday. Will James be able to lend the amount of money David needs quickly in order to tide him over? At Hatton Garden, dealers Steve and Johnny are also looking for a super quick loan. James. How you doing? How you yeah, doing? good. Say hello to Joe, but just really quickly, yeah? Very. Hi, Joe. Joe. Oh, how are you? They've brought in a necklace that a client of theirs wants a loan on. Are you happy to see me? Always. Oh. How are you guys? You all right? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. Yeah, good, good. good. we got a beauty. Oh, really? A real beauty. Wow. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah. 107 carats of Sri Lankan sapphire. That's really nice. Yeah, and about 12 carat of uh, really beautiful diamonds. So what do you want to do with it? A client of ours, he doesn't want to sell it, but he does want to raise some money. He's got a building project and the banks are dragging their feet. He wants cash quick and you're the man. Okay, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. So uh, what's he looking for? 
He's talking about 100K, isn't he? Ish, yeah. yeah. So it hasn't got any certificates with it? Not that I know of, no. OK. No, no, no. All right, then. So when do you need it by? This if week. we can give him an answer in the next day or so, that would be great. OK. So All right, I'll, now. I'll try not to... <laughs> I'll try not... No pressure. I'll try not to let you down, then. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're pretty... So confident. a couple of days, 100 grand. Mm. Lovely. We shall see what we can do, guys. Great. Great. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers, Cheers James. Thanks, Cheers, James. Guys. Thank you. See you Take soon. Care. <laughs> We don't see uh, items of this quality on, a, you know, every day, um, and this is spectacular. This is perfect for us. 100 grand's a lot of money, so we need to do the maths, really, um, break it down. Each stone will have to be looked at, and then if we need a second opinion, there are a couple of people we can go to. It's a lot of money, but that, go make that piece. It would cost you probably a lot more than what he's looking to borrow, and if you had to buy that retail, it would cost you five times the amount, possibly. See what the boys brought in, look. Can I just hold it? No, there's no need you to hold, hold it. it. Don't be silly. It Stop it. Do you like it though? Yeah, but I can't be believe that I can't touch it. No, I would just try and believe it. <laughs> Over 1,000 pieces of jewellery come through the doors of the pawn shop every week. It's a Gucci watch. Yeah. Mm. Very unusual. I've never seen anything like that. And although boss James likes to deal with the big money pieces personally, Hatton Garden manager Alicia oversees trade day to day. I've just received an email with some images of a watch and a ring that the client is looking to sell. They're really nice high-end items. It doesn't actually say in the email um, whether or not she wants to sell it. Um, she might be looking for a loan, so we're going to have to find that out from the client. It's a lovely matter of pearl. I think ladies' Rolex, again, can't tell the size from the image, and a very beautiful diamond ring. Um, so there is a lot of potential in these items, we just have to see them. They might look completely different in real life. A lot of the clients have got retail figures in their head. There is a massive difference between retail figures and second-hand trade values. Hey, Kitty, how are you doing? Good, thanks, how are you? The watch and the ring belong to 36-year-old yoga devotee, Kitty. Left hip forward, chin lifted, eyes forward. I get so much benefit out of it that it's such an important part of my life. Eyes to the ceiling, loud, strong, powerful, exhale breath. I think I'm quite positive and health-driven person, but, you know, I wouldn't miss the odd slice of cake. Six months ago, Kitty gave up her career as an IT manager. It wasn't fulfilling enough for me. It was actually quite soulless. I was really bored and I thought, gosh, there has to be something else out there. Bring the body down slowly. Work your abdomen parallel to the floor. Now, I'm a people person. I don't think sitting behind a desk in front of a screen really is for me. It's very well getting paid and having a regular income, but I wasn't happy. Kitty's recently started a new business selling yoga clothes. So yeah, you can see we've sold quite a bit already. It's a bit surreal, really, to think yeah. that five months ago I had this idea. All the clothes are actually hung up in your studio, and it's great to actually see them. I have so many plans in the future for what I want to do. It's really good. Now Kitty is determined to grow her fledgling business. Yeah, I would, I would do some men's shorts. Yeah, we do. There's, there's definite um, gap. I, I think there is a gap, especially yeah. when I go to a class and I see men wearing things that they shouldn't wear. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be out and about and meeting people. And the yoga community is very friendly anyway. Um, it's quite different from IT. Um, IT people are friendly too, but they are just more reserved. Kitty has lived in London since moving from Hong Kong when she was 18. It didn't feel like a big move at the time um, because all my friends were going abroad to study overseas. It was only when I got here that I realised, oh my goodness, what have I done? Because it's a very different environment from Hong Kong. This is a photo of my parents on my graduation day many years ago in London. They're both um, really quite happy people. I have a really good relationship with them, um, and for particularly for this startup because they've got years of textiles um, industry experience and knowledge, and they've been amazing in terms of supporting me to get this up and running. 
and her parents have given their blessing for her to pawn a special birthday present. Rolex has run in my family. My grandparents have Rolexes, my mum and dad have Rolexes. Um, I've always seen it as quite a grown-up item. Um, so I guess maybe that's my parents' message to tell me that now. I'm properly grown up to get a Rolex watch. I have no idea how much this watch is worth. It's a birthday present, so I, was going, I wasn't going to ask my parents how much did you pay for it. It's a bit rude. <laughs> Kitty is also looking to pawn another gift to promote her business. The ring is beautiful. I got it from an ex-boyfriend. Although it's beautiful, it just doesn't hold the sentimental value to me anymore. With both the watch and the ring, I'm hoping to get a loan of at least £5,000 um, to help me with my business. It's definitely not cheap to actually get into the most popular yoga magazines. About £500 per issue, which is a lot of money. But I'm hoping that with at least £5,000, I'll be able to make it into nearly a year's of issue. It will be up to Alicia to decide whether the items are worth the £5,000 loan that Kitty needs. Designer bag expert Claudia has gone to Brighton to appraise Annabelle's 19 handbags. There have been a few in particular that have actually caught my eye, and um, obviously they're the Hermes and, uh, and the Chanel. Judging by the images, all the handbags look beautiful, and it looks like she's kept them in immaculate condition, but really you have to see them in the flesh. Fine, thanks. How are you? Lovely to see you. Mm. I'm good, mm. thank you. Did it come into the sitting room where... This is lovely. Thank These you very much. Colours. Thanks. I've been looking forward to seeing your yeah, bags. Very... They're in marvellous condition. It's a shame the little bits of the, the scratches here because of the box leather. It's not scratched at the bottom. No. Even in the shops, they get scratched. It's got history. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd love to know what history it's got. <laughs> Well, this is lovely, isn't it? The Jersey Chanel. I think it's. Sweet. I think it's. It's the most beautiful Chanel. Yeah. It, it was her first bag she ever made. Yeah, it was. Now there is one in particular that really did um, catch my eye. I have it here. Have you? I can't wait to see it. I've never actually seen one no, like I it. Oh. Oh, look at it. That's amazing. It's like cocktail ice creams all over yeah. it. It's cute, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. It's really lovely. Yeah, open it. <laughs> this is amazing. What and, a beautiful uh, little piece. Yes, it is. I love it. Obviously, you know sort of roughly what you would like for them. I don't really. No. Not don't until an you idea. make an offer. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Which is really fair, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We'll have a look uh, at yeah. Them. You've got to go through them. We're well, definitely interested in these three. Yeah. Um, shall I go and have a look at the other ones absolutely. individually? Absolutely. Yeah. There you are, Claudia. Oh, well. Have the time of your life. OK. All right, I'll have a look then. All right. There are some that are catching my eye, but just not as, not all of them, not as much as I expected them to. When I started to look at them closely, there were signs of wear and tear, which I hardly expected. This Chanel is a really old bag. The gold has faded, but that can be replaced. If you can see in here, it's all flaking away. Hi. Hiya. How are you going? Great. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, I've, I think I've taken enough notes of okay, uh, every time. bag, yeah. so um, if, if you don't mind if I can take a few with me, no, phone you and see where no, we go from there. you're very there. welcome. Yeah? OK. Brilliant. I, I look forward to hearing from you. Definitely. OK, okay. darling. Lovely. Annabelle was delightful. What a lovely lady. I'm so glad to have met her. Her bags got a great selection. Some of them I'm quite impressed with and some of them I'm coming away with mixed feelings really. So I do need to do a little bit more research and see what the outcome is. With some of the bags in a dubious condition, will Claudia be able to come up with a figure that Annabelle has got in mind but kept firmly to herself? In Hatton Garden, James's personal assistant, Joe, is feeling on top of the world. 
don't you just get up some days and just think nothing is going to throw you off course or make you miserable? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. You do? Yeah. Is it today? Not today, no. Mine is. Isn't it good if we don't get the same day, in a way, because then when I can cope with everything, like your empire, and you're a bit off, it won't matter. Yeah, it's a good, really good idea, that. Yeah. Write it down so you don't forget it. I don't need to write things down, cos I'm not very forgetful. Am I, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Yoga entrepreneur Kitty has brought in her Rolex watch and diamond ring to see if Alicia will loan her £5,000 against them. Hi there. Hi. 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 Um, I've brought some items in that okay. I'm hoping you can take a look at and then sure, possibly right. give me a loan. Um, so the first one is a watch. OK, you sent us an email, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have, yeah. It's brand new, it's never been worn. OK, yes, it looks in really good condition. Okay. And the second item is a Boucheron ring. I was wondering how it's going to look like in real life, so... Yeah, oh, sorry. wow, it's beautiful. So what are you looking to do with these? Um, I'm hoping to get a loan uh, for minimum £5,000 okay. to help me with my new business. Are you happy to leave them with us? I'm happy to leave them with yeah. you and see what you think. Okay, uh, great meeting you. Thanks you for too. coming in. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. You bye. too, bye. They're really resellable pieces, even though Kitty is only looking for a loan. We have to look at the market, the potential market for them. And this watch will definitely sell in five minutes. See you guys later. See you, Jake. Where well, are you going? Can't tell you. Secret. With a potential £100,000 loan on the table, James is taking Steve and Johnny's diamond and sapphire necklace to expert Ian for a second opinion. The client wants £100,000, so it's a big number. I just want to make sure that I'm secure in my position, so I'm just going to run in and see Ian and just get his opinion on it. Hello, James. How, How are, you? are you? Yeah, good. Good, You're thank right. you. Yes. Yes. Good. I thought I'd pop in. I've got something for you. Look mm. at this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? Isn't that amazing? It looks better on. I bet it does. Yeah. Apparently, they're Sri Lankan. The certificated? Uh, not certificated at the moment. We've had a look, and we think they're very clean. They're amazing colour. Yeah. Do you think they're Sri Lankan, the sapphires? I would think they are. Yeah. yeah. To say that, you really need it certificated. Mm. Can you imagine how long it's taken to s sit down and source all the sapphires? Mm. It's a lot of work. And it's definitely come from one batch, you know, because it's all so clear, all so lovely. Mm. And the diamonds are lovely, lovely quality. It's just absolutely lovely. I know exactly which shirt I could wear this way. <laughs> <laughs> I could sell that like, like that. Mm -hmm. Shall I try it on? Why not? Mm. Let's have a look. Mm, yes. Mm. You like that? I want. I want. We're trying to get the deal done for him quite quickly. So you think that's commercially uh, quite oh. uh, sought after, do you? Easy to wear, simple, but beautiful. Right, well... <laughs> I'll give you a few pounds for it. <laughs> lovely. I shall get back to the office, do some work, and uh, I shall let you know how I get on. Oh, well... Bring it back any time. <laughs> All right, take Thank care. Thank you, you too. Good take to see care. You. Lovely to see you, Jane. Cheers. Well, it's a massive number for us, £100,000. We've got to be really, really careful. Um, we don't want to end up in a situation where we're uh, not able to sell the item and recoup our money, so I want to make sure I've got it right. Designer handbag expert Claudia is appraising five bags that belong to former fashionista Annabelle. I chose to bring these bags in particular because they're the ones that are the real money, basically. It's important to do the thorough checks on them um, because you can't really afford to make mistakes on, uh, on these sort of bags. 
Lucy, the Hermes writing on this Kelly bag, when you look at it through the loop, you can see at the end of the E where it says made in France that it's actually quite smudged. But that could be because it's quite an old bag. This one's quite a unique bag. Um, it's the bamboo handled uh, Gucci. But what I am concerned about is the lining. When I got the bags back in the office, under the correct lighting, there were some that I did actually, you know, think we could resell, but because of the condition of them, um, they would have needed a lot of work on them. A cork. <laughs> this is probably one of Annabelle's, um, you know, corks from uh, her party days, I'm guessing. This one uh, does have a nail varnish mark in it, so it's, um... That's a shame, really, because we don't usually make offers or buy in any bags that have got permanent damage. Out of all the bags, they're not going to be that difficult to price, apart from this one here, which is quite a unique one, so there's nothing really to compare it to, to see what bids it's fetching at auction, etc. So, but judging by, you know, it's a Chanel, it's an heirloom, it's the classic uh, style. With Annabelle keeping the figure she's got in mind close to her chest, Will Claudia come up with a price that she'll be happy with? In the front office, manager Alicia is appraising yoga entrepreneur Kitty's watch and ring. With Rolexes, it all depends on, on what sort of features they've got. And so, for example, with diamonds, it's always a lot more expensive than plain. When it comes to diamonds and Rolexes, watches especially, you have to do a lot of research. There is much more to it than just the looks. Even though it's a stunning piece, we need to find out if it's a fake. And as far as I'm concerned, both items were presents, so we do have to do the work. It's got a lovely brown mother of pearl face, which is also a quite unique um, face for, for a lady's Rolex. It's a 2015 model, which makes it even better. Not a single scratch on it. With brand new models, it's quite difficult to tell how, how much they'll be. So we've got this stunning Boucheron ring. Boucheron is one of the, the most um, famous uh, designer brands when it comes to jewellery, especially bridal jewellery. Um, they're very important historically. It comes with a special box and even a little booklet to certify that uh, where it came from and when it was purchased. It's got its own serial number. It's quite of an unusual design. It's got a big center stone and then a lot of smaller stones on the shoulders. It creates that sort of basket. It is a stunning piece. It definitely looks much better in real life than it did in the picture. Even though Kitty is looking for a quite realistic amount, I still have to do a bit more research because as soon as you purchase these sort of items, the value depreciates drastically. This is the Millennium Hourglass we spoke oh, about yeah. on the phone. The pawn shop gives about 250 same-day loans every week. I need to raise about £5,000 if that's possible. Is it something you needed sorted today? Or? Yeah, possible. When clients are looking for the money the same day, it can be really, really difficult. You've still got to go through the appraisal process correctly, otherwise you could end up losing money. When do you need funds by? Today. It's always really difficult when trying to do a loan that particular day. You've got to be really careful and appraise the item correctly or you could end up losing money. Lambretta owner David has brought his beloved scooter into the shop in the hope that James can give him some quick cash. Hi, mate. How are you? Oh, James, right. How are you doing? Oh, what a lovely old thing that is. It's beautiful, isn't it? 1962. This all seems to be in lovely order, doesn't it? Well, I've had it three years and I've looked after it. It's all original under here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Nothing's been changed, nothing's been modified. Nice, yeah. In a centi, proper yeah. Italian one. Yeah, the gearbox is all original as well. Let's get out of the back. All right, let's go. Do you reckon I can ride it into the office? <laughs> Where did you get that from? Oh, James, that's well nice. All right, come for it. Normally, we lend sort of 50, 60 per cent of an item's value. What were you hoping for? 15. I think 15 would be pushing it. I think the bike is probably a couple of grand if you were trying to get rid of it. I've got someone that will buy it off me for four and a quarter. 
Personally, I don't see it at that same level at the minute. I could probably get to a grand on it. We couldn't go 1250. I'll go 1200 quid. Go on then. Nice. All right, nice. All right, lovely. OK, I know you're coming back. It's a beautiful right, thing. Def yeah, I'm not leaving it. But if you do leave it, I don't mind too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm def it's not going to happen. I've got to leave that with it, because they go together. No if problem, that's all right. leave that. All right, lovely. Yeah, Joe will go up the banky with that on. <laughs> <laughs> I was really chuffed to do the loan for David in 10 minutes and give him the cash. 50, 100, 150, 200. And there should be 50 of these. Now all I have to do is find somewhere to store it. Glad we could help you. I'll see you in a couple of months. Thanks see you when you're ready. Uh, James gave me a good offer, £1,200. I'm happy with that. Like I say, it's a short-term loan, so it's good business. I'm going to get the money as quickly as I can. I'm missing it already. <laughs> I'm pining for it. I'll take your places, baby. <laughs> Wave goodbye to John. <laughs> goodbye. Can you girls get off the bike? Can you go to work now? <laughs> At head office, boss James's assistant Joe has been on her feet all day. Stop it! My God, you are embarrassing. Woo! 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 What the hell was that? That was a spine. Woo! Whoops! Oh my God, that was great. Anyway, that's part of yoga, you know. Equally as into her yoga is Kitty, who's hoping for a loan against a watch and a diamond ring. I'm hoping to get a minimum of £5,000 on loan for the two items to help me with my business. I'm feeling quite positive, so fingers crossed I'll get the money that I'm looking for. Alicia is now ready to make her an offer, so has called her back into the Hatton Garden branch. Hi. 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 Good to see you again. Hi. Thanks. Are you excited to hear the news? Yeah, I'd like to see what I could get for it, yeah. How much were you looking for again? A minimum of £5,000. OK, and how much do you think they're worth? What's your feeling about them? I don't know. I like to think I could borrow 5000 because the watch is brand new and the ring's quite nice, so... We've done some research. Um, luckily, we didn't have to do that much because they're quite straightforward items, but we still had to confirm everything. With the watch, unfortunately, you don't actually have the paperwork for it. Right. Um, it is in a pristine condition. It is a 2015 model with diamonds. With the ring, it's got everything, the box, papers, everything ready. So, for the both items, you're looking at £10,000. £10,000? Seriously? Seriously. Oh, my God. Wow. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> wow, I never thought I could get that much for it. Really? Ten? Yeah. That's incredible. Is that going to be helpful? Yeah, really, yeah. really helpful. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm glad that you're wow. That's absolutely incredible. It's just made my day, really. It's always good to break the good news, and I'm happy that it will help her with her business. It will just drive me to work even harder uh, to get the ring and watch back, for sure. In Brighton, Former fashionista Annabelle is waiting on a call from Claudia. I've been asked by Claudia about three or four times what I want for the handbags. You know, don't let's kid ourselves here. <laughs> I mean, I like her very much as a person, and she's very, very good at what she does. But she's not here for my benefit. I want her to offer me a price, and then we'll go from there. After a thorough examination of the collection, Claudia is ready to make Annabelle an offer. I am a little bit nervous about the phone call now because obviously, you know, she's really passionate about her bags. Um, but at the same time, it's a business, so we have to buy them in right. 
so hopefully I'll make her an offer that she'll be pleased with. Hello? Hi, Annabelle. Well, it's Claudia. Oh, hi, Claudia. Hello. I'm good, thank you. Right, so I suppose you want some answers then, do you? Yeah, <laughs> sure, that would be nice. Um, so I am happy to make you an offer uh, on seven bags. Yeah. Uh, being the Hermes Kelly. Mm. The Chanel jersey, the black one. Yeah. The Chanel with the ice cream. The Balenciaga. The mm. black suede one that I brought back with me. Mm. And the Gucci bags that you have there still, the black and orange and the brown suede one. Yeah. Now, uh, obviously, the uh, the Kelly does need some refurbishing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, overall, we're quite happy to offer you three and a half thousand for those seven bags. No, Claudia. No. No way. What were you expecting for them? You know, the ke the Kelly itself is worth that. If I had it, um, took it into my um, Hermes and had it cleaned up, that yeah, I the think. The problem with the Kelly is we have two in stock at the moment, and they're not moving, and they're in really, really good condition. Well, you know, no, uh, for th for three and a half grand, I'd rather keep them. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's understandable. Yeah, I mean, three and a half grand wouldn't. Even buy new yeah, because at the end of the day, to replace them, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, exactly. But um, okay, well, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you, Kat. And it was <laughs> nice meeting you as well. <laughs> All right, thanks, Annabelle. Bye. God bless. Bye bye. It was just a plain, sort of simple no, really. No umming and ahhing. Three and a half for seven bags? Oh, give me a break, please. <laughs> I would have said no to six and a half grand now, now the truth be told. Customers' perception of what their bags are worth um, compared to the actual, you know, secondary value of them is different, but we can't offer that much more you know because it's a business so we have to buy in items that we know that we're going to you know easily be able to sell and at the right money none of them really go down in value value because you know they they be looked at as vintage and vintage is fantastic so no i'm not, i'm not disappointed at all it's been an experience and it just didn't work out Steve and Johnny have been working on behalf of a client and are waiting for James to give them a decision on a £100,000 loan for a diamond and sapphire necklace. Hopefully, good news. fingers crossed, get some good news for our client. But there's always that worry in the back of your mind, is it what it's purporting to be? So, but, um, well, we'll find out today. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We're looking forward to it. Mm. Go see James. I mean, this piece is absolutely stunning, but uh, it doesn't come with its paperwork and certificates, so that could be a bit of an issue when it comes to reaching big numbers. Can we come in? Guys, how you been, all right? Yeah, You've been busy? We've been busy, and we're here because we're hoping for some good news. Yes. Good, good, good. Well, look, I mean, we've had a look at the stones, and they're perfectly matched, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, and uh, we don't dispute the retail value um, that we, I think we talked about, around the 250 mark. Yeah. yeah. The only problem we did see with it is that it didn't have any, at the moment, any certificates, so we sort of valued it as not having any certificates. Okay. And yeah. as you can appreciate, on a piece that's worth nearly a quarter of a million quid, mm -hmm. um, to not to have the certificates can be a little bit of a sure. problem. Yeah. What is it your client needs to get to? The, I think the, ma the magic number for him would be 100k. Right, and what's he doing with it? He's, um, he's, he's um, got a property that he's in the process of developing and the bank's dragging their feet, but yeah, he, he needs that cash as quick right. as possible. We have got a number for you. We can get to 150,000. What, 150? Yeah. yeah. 
That is fantastic. Does that help him out? Yeah, absolutely. That would be great. Yeah, that's ah. good news. Fantastic. Well, you said he yeah. needed a hundred yeah. yeah. minimum, so without well, the certificate, good news. without the John. Well, that's brilliant. Yeah. I think yeah. if we had the certificates, we'd get another twenty grand out of it. Right. Right. Okay. But, okay. but um, it's uh, yeah. wow. Okay, guys. We'll look. We'll get the paperwork drawn up and we'll send it over to you and we're ready to roll then. That's fantastic. That's great news. Great. Cheers. Lovely. Thanks, James. Thanks Thank very you. much. See you later. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Amazing news, yeah. absolutely amazing. That's fantastic. Couldn't He's, have gone any better. It was, well, it's brilliant. I mean, his his magic number was 100. Um, James has offered up to 150. Whether he takes it or not, I don't know, but he's definitely going to have a sigh of relief knowing that he's got that yep. access and to that cash from yeah. today. James has just said he can do up to 150 for you. Really? Yes. No problem. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Really pleased with the results. Guys seem really happy. And, uh, yeah, another <laughs> brilliant one for us. Big number. And it's why we set the company up in the first place. So, fantastic. Job well done. Fantastic.